here's how it all happened. I was having a great time on the track, enjoying it, everything was fine, car was working great, until I heard this noise. that it can be good so I broke something time to investigate by the symptoms I thought is the clutch because every time I was releasing the clutch uh, the noise came back and eventually after some time um, the pedal didn't want to come back so that means I probably ruined the slave cylinder so I attempted to uh, drive the car home of course it didn't go to the plan I had to trailer it back home and uh, started looking for parts I was pretty sure that the clutch is done and the slave cylinder so that's what I ordered I ordered the OM clutch and the slave cylinder uh, brand new OM clutch I also ordered the speed bleeder because the position of um, that valve where you have to bleed the hydraulic clutch is very tight so I said why not. So I received all the parts and thought uh, let's take the car to the shop and start fixing it. And we start disassembling the car. Disassembling, 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 until we get to, until we get to this. Now, uh, once we remove the torque tube. I rotated on one side and noticed that the other side wasn't rotating, well not in the same time. So I told to myself that can be right. <laughs> so we start dismantling the torque tube. And we starting to find our problem. This problem. This problem. This problem, this problem, obviously the clutch wasn't the big problem here, it was the axle that goes through the torque tube, it looks like it has some rubber bushings and one of them was burned out completely, like it was nothing left for it, the other one was not okay but still in place. At this time we realized we don't have the parts to fix the car, so we had to take a break, order new parts and come back later. At this point I said, okay, let's change the clutch, we already have a new one, why not? When we remove the clutch, uh, we also noticed the flywheel, which is a double mass flywheel on the Corvette. Um, it was not in its best shape, so it had to be changed. Then I thought, okay, um, I don't want to change it with another dual mass flywheel. Uh, let's put a single mass flywheel. And I did a quick look up. A single mass flywheel was going for like eight to nine hundred dollars. It also wasn't uh, in stock at the moment, I mean the single mass flywheel for the stock clutch. So I ordered the complete clutch kick from a cloud which comes directly with a single mass flywheel. I choose the aluminum version and also a twin disc clutch rated for 1000 horsepower. That was priced for like $1200. which. Uh, was okay compared to the eight nine hundred dollars just for the aluminum flywheel so 
Here it is, the new clutch kit. It was 18 for a thousand horsepower, so we went ahead and installed it. After a week we got our billet aluminum bushings that we ordered to rebuild the axle. Of course I wasn't going to order new rubber bushings uh, because it seems they don't last on the track. So this looks sick and uh, I think they'll last a lot more. So here's how the axle came out rebuilt with these bushings. Since you were rebuilding the torque tube anyway, just order the three bearings that it has. So we completely rebuilt it, new bearings, uh, new bushings and uh, cleaned it up. So everything should be good for 1000 horsepower. Just kidding, I don't know how many horsepower it will hold, we'll see. Anyway, it was time to put everything back together. Um, trailer the car back home, get the MOT done and uh, put it back on the road. So here we are now, everything is rebuilt, new clutch, new flywheel, rebuilt uh, axle in torque tube. I hope everything will work out and still run great for a long time. So in case this happens to you, you're on the track or not, keep in mind to check that torque tube axle first before buying a new clutch. Oh,